a very good morning to everybody. It's Wednesday. Tom's feeling a bit delicate this morning, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. After he had to be put to bed tonight. Now there's a vision for you on a Wednesday. We are just about to venture up a mountain. It's not my fault. Aren't we? <laughs> yes, we're going on the uh, Fetty Skywalk, which is, what is it called? Um, what is it? Yeah, the Skywalk, yeah, I think. What is it? What is it? Babadag. It's a chair. Well, it's a bit of both, isn't it? There's, it's a bit like a funicular, I think. No, and there's a, a, a chair, like a ski lift. No, it's not a ski lift. Right, well, it's obviously. Not a it's, it's like the Skyliner and. Um, a cable car. Cable car oh yes. my goodness oh me. God, it's a long oh, one. I tell it's you a what, cable folks, car. We're going up in a cable car. That gin he had last night has clearly affected him. And we're going up to 1700 feet on the cable car and then, nine, uh, not 1700 feet, 1700 metres and then 1900 metres might be open. Yes, because it's on two stages. A, um, that's the one that you have to go up in a an open chair yeah. to get to 19. And what um, this part is, is where they do a lot of the paragliding. So yeah. uh, this is kind of a launch platform. And previously you only used to be able to go up to this uh, on the back of a rickety old buzz oh, yes. when you were um, about to go and jump off the mountain. I've done paragliding twice here. Yeah, so. Uh, the views are spectacular, but we'll show you up at the top the launch pad uh, where you take off. You'll probably, you'll probably see some Paragliders getting ready to go off. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's some going off in the distance now, but we'll watch uh, when we get up there. Might be a bit breezy up there, so again, we still need to buy this muff. For those of you that have been watching for a while, you know we have muff issues. Um, so we will do a little bit of filming up there and let you see it all and look at the spectacular views and everything. And if Tom gets on my nerves, he might just go over the edge. <laughs> So you'll see the prices behind us. As of the 1st of June, 2022, this is a 140 Turkish Lira to go up all the way to the very top. And that works out at the bargain price of about seven quid. So that's really good value. But of course, the exchange rates fluctuate. And at the moment we've said the, um, the interest rates in Turkey are um, very high, which is why you're seeing a lot of high prices in Lira for what um, you're paying um, what things you're paying for so that's just to be mindful of but uh, yeah I think that's a pretty good deal to be honest with you yeah. oh I hope I don't get oh just go through a scanner thank you It looks a bit like the Skyliner. Well, we're on board. We're about to take off. <laughs> oh, it's warm. <laughs> I know, I was going to say, just look how steep that is up there. Yeah, it's good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my word. <laughs> Isn't it cool? It's lovely and cool. Yeah, it is cool actually. Because you're so high up. Absolutely bonkers. Oh my god. So, how high up are we? 1700 meters. This You'll see in a second. <laughs> is a crazy. The views are spectacular. It's it's mad, absolutely mad. Oh, I feel like the Nicklins. Oh, I feel all like they did. <laughs> They're up the Alps, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> 
just out of this world. Tom, uh-huh. do you know when I said that I think one day you'd finally send me over the edge? <laughs> is, <laughs> is this the day? <laughs> oh, it's absolutely crazy, this view. <laughs> Breathtaking. I mean, it's a bit misty today, so you can't get the full clarity. Yet it's the hazy. It's just mad. And there's paragliders. I mean, we are, like, high. <laughs> and you just don't want to drop your phone down there, folks. I mean, there are views and then there are views. So what's this bit here where the paragliders come? Uh, this is the drop-off for the dormitory. Down again now, so we need to get across here. Yeah. All right, okay. Now, these chairs apparently don't kick in till 1 pm. Well, it's only half 11 today, so we probably won't end up going on those, unfortunately. But they look like the ski lifts, and they also remind us of the chairs at Blizzard Beach as well. So, we're going to have a little walk over here now, and this is the point where all of the paragliders take off this bit here and you'll just see how vast it really is it's amazing they've extended that yeah they've extended the, the runway and, and the Stunning. Yeah. This is amazing. Are you alright sitting in the sun? Yes, of course. What are you going to do, sit there? Oh, we're just having a little sit down. How are you finding the altitude? Yeah, it's a bit thin. Yeah. What's you chewed? I don't know what he's chewed. <laughs> Nothing yet, but getting no. some food, I'm starving. Yeah. I mean, you must be still a bit lightheaded after all of that gin from last night. I didn't have much. Copious amounts. And um, we're going to have a little look at the menu and see what's uh, on offer. Would oh, you want a Long Island iced tea? Do you? Mm -hmm. This No alcohol for me today. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hello, me? Yeah. Oh. And pancakes, right? Yes. Two what have you got, Tom? Yeah, a bit, bit later. Mm -hmm. okay. That's alright. You can keep that. Yeah. 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 We just had a nice lunch, haven't we? Yep. Yep. Wasn't, At, wasn't what I expected. No, it was a vegan burger that wasn't a vegan burger, but still. Um, we're going to go on the ski lift. Oh, yeah, chair lift. Chair lift. Ski yeah. lift. And just go a little bit further up to that point right there, right behind us. And then we'll show you an even bigger elevated view of where we are. But it's absolutely spectacular. If you've never thought about coming to Turkey for a holiday, fabulous destination very good price for food and things like that and some beautiful scenery it's and i can always do you a good deal yes speak to tom <laughs> for a good turkey deal um but it's gorgeous up here so we're gonna go and have a little go on this and get the blizzard beach vibes how many years have we been coming here Oof. well since we've known each other it's about 12 years yeah but more. then before that we were yeah i think this is my twin 20th year yeah 20th year of coming here yeah minus the minus that thing that happened over yeah. the last two years. We need to get our tickets out, so we'll see you on the lift. Ooh, we 
going even higher. It's stunning. Is that Isn't my it? finger, you? Oh, it's stunning. Isn't it gorgeous? It is lovely. I mean, we're... Look at that view down there. I'm trying to hold on to the phone. <laughs> So we're going up to 1,700 feet, meters? No, we're already at 1,700, oh, aren't we? Yeah, this is 1,800 meters. Okay. Very high and up. And then up there, where the flag is, right is 1,900 meters. That's not open at the minute, so. Oh, it's so quiet, isn't it? So quiet. Oh, we're on the top of the world. Going higher and higher. I'm so scared. I really don't want to drop this phone. <laughs> but it's very high. I'm oh, look at him away up there. I'm slightly a bit nervy about this little bit, to be honest yeah, with you. This, I'm trying not to look down. Yeah, I'm... we're we're just a little bit anxious. <laughs> oh, I don't quite like this. But... I know, I know. But yes, it's um, it it's better in the big car than it is in this little car. Put it that way. Is this, is this how skiers must think? Mm -hmm. Oh God, I hope there's not a big gust of wind, otherwise I really will be um, worried. <laughs> anyway, if you don't hear from us again, you know why. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, oh we're soaring around the world. Let's <laughs> look at the blue lagoon. So it looks like they're in the process of building another eatery here, but uh, they're still finishing things off at the minute. But we just keep getting higher and higher, and those chair lifts have just stopped <laughs> and started again. Yeah, I mean, look at this for a view <laughs> for your lunch. Well, I feel just like Julie Andrews up here. <laughs> <laughs> the hills are alive. <laughs> With the sound of Thomas. You really don't get the perspective on the video of just how high it is to do, you really? No. <laughs> it is something that you should come and do. Never seen views like this at all. Never been to a place, I don't think, where I've been this high to just look at the scenery. And down here, Sarah, uh, Sarah Adico, if you remember, this is where we came up to actually do our paragliding um, many years ago now. But yeah, this is the this is the runway, and we can get up here now on the, the cable car instead of that dormish all the way up the side of the mountain. And then round there, you just see um, that bit there is the Blue Lagoon, yeah, which is seen in almost every advert. photograph, advert, uh, piece of media about Turkey because it's what draws people in. The the colour of the water is beautiful. And then straight ahead. Um, not there, down here. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Down here is the city of Fethiye, um, which is where we go for the market. Yeah. It's got a lovely harbour area down there. Oh, is this like soaring around the world? <laughs> we're just on the descent. <laughs> and we're still a little bit feared. My little feet are shaking. <laughs> I'm just quiet because I'm... I'm still, <laughs> He's still a bit nervous. I'm still, I'm still tired. <laughs> Who the top? Because it probably took them from the paragliding before. Yeah, they've got yeah. the brochures and that. Or a helicopter, maybe, or something. They have very little time, otherwise. Yeah. 
They don't have Christmas or anything. Don't have Easter. Yeah, they have the whole of, of July and August, but I think they finished. So what did you think of your cable car experience? Oh, it was very good, it was very good. It's a very impressive piece of engineering. Yeah. To have that system all in place on such a sheer rock face. It's it's crazy, because the wiring at one point looks almost like it's vertical. So, so it's, it's very good. It was 140 litre, and at the current exchange rate, that's seven pounds. Yeah, seven pounds. So a really good, really good few hours out. I mean, we got here, that we pulled into the car park at 20 to 11, and it is now... Two o'clock. Two o'clock. And of course, we've eaten up there as well. So if you're in this part of the world, highly, highly, highly recommended. So yes, and I think now it's time to go back and dip our wee toes in the pool. Yeah. Yeah, just to chill out for a little bit this afternoon. Um, we should just mention that this is actually situated on the road down into Olu Denis as well. We forgot to mention that. So as you come down towards Olu, it's on the left-hand side. And then there is parking here, but it is chargeable. So we're going to find out how much we're going to pay for approximately four hours worth of parking. And we'll put the price in. Here. I'm getting breathless. This is this is a bigger climb than the mountain. We've just been up. We're already walking to the car park. Oh, maybe it's all that that air, that um, thin air up there. Yeah. You know. I mean, oof, goodness me! Somebody get me a taxi. Well, we're just going to go out for dinner. It's about half past seven. Quarter to eight. Oh, quarter to eight, apparently. Uh, we're just going to go into Hisaranu or Hisaranu, where, whatever again you call it, and just have a little um, light dinner. We're not having a late night tonight, just a nice uh, chilled out evening. But we just want to say a massive thank you at this point because a few minutes ago yeah. we found out that we've hit... 900 subscribers. That is bonkers, absolutely bonkers. We're over the 4,000 watch hours and we're at 900 subscribers. It's going absolutely bonkers. So thank you to each and every one of you um, for getting us there. Uh, it's yeah it's just crazy crazy i mean the, the channel was kind of coasting along um very slowly for the first lot of vlogs that we put out um you know the disney cruise and um disneyland paris and the virgin voyage but since the walt disney world world <laughs> disney world series has gone live um there's been so much love and uh, everybody's been so so lovely and kind and sent really nice comments and things um if we haven't replied to all your comments we will try and get through them uh, we have had an awful lot and um, we're just so unbelievably grateful for every single person that's tuned in, even if it's just for a, a few seconds. And hopefully we've retained people's attention for a bit longer than that. But thank you so much. And uh, we will do our utmost to try and make sure that we continue to bring you a little bit of mischief and magic from the Staffordshire part of the world. So thanks again, everybody. And um, we are just going to go back and have some dinner. Hello. Oh, Turkish radio. We miss the sunset. Oh wow. Oh, we've come to Costello's. We normally get a good meal here, so yeah, I wanted a steak. And they do a really good steak here, and there's tons of veggie options. Yeah, there's loads of vegetarian, isn't there? So uh, we'll show you a little bit of the menu uh, here, and it's pretty quiet tonight. There's lots of football on, but the bars are very quiet. Yeah, so you just see past Tom. Uh, there's nobody in um, Aloha Bar there, but um, one or two places are quite busy. That's a place called um, Del Boys, which is usually always packed. <laughs> Might pick up a bit later on though, but we're not, uh, as I say, we're not staying out tonight. Had a bit of a heavy one last night. Not me. Yeah. What is that, Thomas? <laughs> it's normally cold, so push it. Yeah? Is it hot? It is. Piping on. And just for scale, it's almost like, yeah, that's like a main course. I know. <clears throat> and I've got stuffed mushrooms, baked stuffed mushrooms, 
with cheese and then they've also got um it's bolognese i think in there mm -hmm. oh yeah delicious mm. lovely lovely how would you start it very nice oh but <laughs> that was different mm. nice though yeah um that's gone as well <laughs> so there wasn't much left that was really, really tasty. Yeah. And I had that the last time I was here when I was eating meat, and it, it was really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most um, of the stuffed mushrooms that you get over here are literally just half a dozen little mushrooms in, excuse me, a bit of cheese. Yeah, you put a that's of it. cheese and garlic in the middle of the mushroom. Yeah, but this is really nice. So, mm -hmm. good start. Lovely. Lovely. There you are, chanting me. Oh, that oh that's nice. that oh, side. Sorry. It's all right. Thank you. Oh my God, look at the size of this steak. Oh my goodness me. What's that? Wow. Gentlemen. It's crazy. Lovely, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Can't even tell you how thick that steak is. And Tom's got pasta and a garlic bread. Garlic bread. <laughs> a garlic bread. That is ridiculous. I might I'll cut into it and um, leave a picture here. I normally have my steak medium, so it's going to be pink. But yeah, let's have a look. How uh, was it? Delicious. Really nice. How was your steak? I didn't normally complain, but that was too much meat for me. <laughs> but it's all gone. <laughs> Very nice. And they do a really weird thing here. They do like double carbs, don't they? So it's always rice with potato. Um, but Tom's pasta was gorgeous, wasn't it? Yeah, really tasty. Let's get the D. Something tells us we're not really at Disney. <laughs> That's definitely breaking character. So just to put this into perspective, that meal has just cost us 721 lira which works out at 36 quid for a steak as big as a it buffalo <laughs> yeah um tom's pasta dish two starters plus a garlic bread four drinks even though they were soft drinks but 36 quid absolutely crazy crazy prices yeah, yeah. yeah food to eat out in turkey is ridiculously cheap so another reason to go Oh yeah, yeah, but um, it's oh god, we're going to get run over. <laughs> um, but yeah, just such such a great great value place to come and eat, and the food tonight was out of this world. So that was Costello's we went to, really really tasty. Just on the main strip down in Hisar, I knew that, and it's uh, above some of the shops and things, but it uh, specializes as an Italian, but they do pretty much everything and tons, Mexican. yeah, tons of veggie stuff. So really, really nice meal. Well, that's us back and we are fully stuffed. So we are gonna just chill out for an hour now and then get to bed. Tom's just on the loo, um, goodness knows doing what. And um, tomorrow we haven't got a plan. We might go to a, a little town called Calcan. We might go to the beach. We might just stay around the pool. So we'll let you know um, if we do go anywhere or if it is that we just take a day off and chill. And um, we, we've just seen some very alternate uh, costume characters. We thought we were in some kind of alternate Disneyland for one minute. It was like something from Stranger Things. The most bizarre Mickey and Minnie costumes we've ever seen. I'm sure it was Baymax, either Baymax or the Michelin Man, one of the two. Um, so we'll sign off, we'll say goodnight. And again, thank you so much for helping us get to 900 subscribers today. That's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we are so, so chuffed and absolutely blown away by all of the lovely positive messages and, and you know, amazing response we've had to all these latest videos so we we are truly truly grateful but sleep <laughs> sweet dreams sleep well and we'll catch you next time so take care and uh, good night for now